Wow. As a nation of people, man. As a nation of people. Brothers, brothers, brothers. We got to get our etiquette up. We got to start thinking. When we make videos, we got to stop cussing so much. You know, calling, calling, calling the women out of their names, calling them bees and hoes, and I'm going to beat your A and all that. Brother, get your etiquette up. Get your etiquette up. We going to be this great nation of Israel, the house of Israel. And we, we, we going to send ambassadors to trade with other nations. While we cussing each other out. While we cussing and acting a fool. And we're supposed to be representatives of the most high. I mean, people that, 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 are, that are borderline. Thinking about, should I be with them or should I not? Should I be with God or should I not be with God? And then they see your video cursing and acting a fool. Talking about you go beat somebody's butt or a. You know what I'm saying? You might just turn them away. So, wow, God's people are like this? I don't want to have them any part of them. So why do you think these so-called people of God are acting like that? The Hebrew Israelites. Um, they don't have enough information. Really. They reject the Quran. And the Quran has a lot of etiquette in it that will help them with their women and with the way they treat each other and people. And it will give them a better brotherhood than they have because they're freestyling. They don't have any laws. They don't have any regulations. And they're freestyling. Most Hebrew Israelites are also using the same scripture that um, traditional Christians of today use. They don't really have etiquette either because they have no doctrine to teach them anything. Mm -hmm. All they have is Jesus saves. Je the, their, doc their whole doctrine is hanging on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Just hanging on one little thing. Jesus is going to save us. You know, we're putting, like, they're putting, they're putting all of their money, their bet on this one thing. Jesus is going to save us. Okay, well, my point was that the um, the Hebrew Israelites tend to use the same books that Christians, traditional Christians of today use, and yet I think that their demeanors are different. True. And why do you think that is? Because in the Hebrew, if you look at the word Hova, which is a root word of Yahweh, they worship two different gods. Um, the Christians worship Jesus or Zeus. Um, a more Roman, Greek, Roman love, romantic, kissing type God, homosexual type culture, where the Hebrew Israelites worship Yah, whatever that is, um, or Yah, four letters, whatever that is, because it's, it's not even in the scripture. Four letters and not just that's an insult, but we don't even need to get into that. Um, or root word hova, which means ruin or um, disaster, a more meaner type of guy. So wh wh whoever you worship, that's the um, the nature you're gonna get. Mm. Whatever you worship, that's the nature you're gonna become. Mm. So that's why you got this loving people, passive people. They get knocked mm -hmm. in the head and keep walking and knocked in the head and keep walking. They get knocked in the head and keep walking. And then you got this more mean, evil type deity that they worship. They're nothing like Abraham. They're nothing like the prophets. They're nothing like Jacob. Um, they're nothing like Adam. Um, Abraham wouldn't do that. He wouldn't walk around calling women bad names and speaking like that. Abraham was ten, very tenderhearted. He was a tenderhearted person passionate person, you know, um, when Joseph, when the woman tried to come at Joseph, he didn't call her a bee, you know, and he was about to get raped, <laughs> he didn't call her a bee or nothing like that, so 
I don't I don't get the anger. If you're saved and you got the truth, it sets you free. It makes you free. You feel happy. Why are you so depressed and angry and cursing them? You know? I don't get it. Maybe they think that they're depressed and angry because of the bondage that their people continue to be in to this day. But God told them if you do what you're supposed to do, you'll be out of the bondage. So, example, the Hebrew Israelites, they've been Hebrew Israelites for years. The Christians have been Christians for years. They should be out of bondage by now. Should they? I thought they were supposed to be in bondage for a certain amount of years. Yeah, I mean, those years are... I mean, they should be working their way out. Mm -hmm. mm. But if but if they do what they're supposed to do, there were many people during slavery time. There were Muslims during slavery time. They weren't. They were not slaves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Isaiah, all the children of Israel went into slavery, and Isaiah was not a slave. Mm -hmm. they, they let him go. Jeremiah, they let him go. Did that have to do with his etiquette? Yes. It has something to do with um, God having mercy on him because of his etiquette. There's a movie on uh, on YouTube about Jeremiah, how he was treated so bad, and he tried to teach the children of Israel about the one God, and he was persecuted. He was um, he was put in a bird cage, and um, he didn't mistreat. In any of the Israelites and he didn't even speak bad against the king I saw this video a while back and I wish I could remember um, the name of it but it was by this um, Hebrew Israelite brother and he seemed like he's older and he left one of the larger churches in New York in the um, 90s I think a large amount of men left these churches um, but what he said was that during his time in the 80s and 90s being in that particular sect that they they taught about um, the compassion of Christ or the, the love of Christ and now now they are teaching more about the wrath of God and um, a lot of, well, at the particular church that I went to, you know, they would chant about war and they would, um, they would do classes about the, about how the Edomites, who they call the white man, was going to serve us one day. We, we were going to be able to kill their children. So I think they've been indoctrinated with a lot of hate and anger and rage. Um, WWL. That's all it is. <laughs> all it is is WWF and uh, beating your chest and stuff like that. You don't have to. You don't have to beat your chest. If you bad, you don't have to say you're bad. I mean, you know the Russians. They give you. They give you the cold handshake. You know, they smile on your face. Not all Russians, but like the mafia type Russians. Smile on your face. You look up. You got a knife in your back. You don't have to beat your chest, man. And it's WWL Showtime. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. Um, and God is a God of war. That doesn't mean we have to run around and act like we're not God. God is the one that's going to do that. Not not us, you know. And um, I, I'm not talking. I'm not agreeing with that Edomite story. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. God is a God of war. That don't mean I have to run around here, you know, slapping people upside the head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just because I read it, God is a God of war. Uh, it's, 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 it's ignorance. It's, it's so much ignorance. Um, but yeah, etiquette, 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 etiquette. Please, brothers, work on your etiquette. Okay? Nobody's going to take us seriously. As a people, 
if we don't know how to act, if we don't know how to speak to people, if we just um, twitching, you know, <laughs> you know, we can't have a conversation without cursing somebody out. Or um, if somebody disagrees with us, we're, we're just so emotional and we're so sensitive. Um, work on your etiquette. Calm down. Um, nobody's going to take you serious. If you, if you act like that. Um, and I think you can catch more beats behind it.